Sorry seems to be the hardest one. Hey, right, we're blue. blue. And you're watching Urban Dark Roll. What I gotta do to make you love me. Hi guys, how are you? Hey, hey. how are you doing? Uh, how do you like Romania? It's, it's, it's not your first time here, right? No, we've been here many times. Yeah, we've been here yeah, about four. four times now. I shot a music video here as well, which was cool, um, for a solo solo track. Um, and the, the architecture is amazing, really, really amazing, the buildings here. In Bucharest, in the old city? In the old city, yeah. You performed for The Voice last night. How was that? Really good, a great show to be a part of. Um, some great singers and everyone was fantastic um, from the crew to, to the presenters to, to the backstage staff so it was an honor honor to be there and, and, and an honor to uh, perform our first comeback single Hurt Lovers to giving it the European um, premiere so it was great. Do, do you think uh, that this singing contest uh, helped the music industry and the artists or they just make singers? Do they, do they? Yeah I think, I think cause sometimes they do we do get um, people who can have a career afterwards. Um, not all the time, because sometimes you know it's, it's just a TV show to some people, and then people just like to vote and just be a part of the voting scheme, but never really support the artist once they've they, they've won. But um, you know, back in the UK, I think we, we have like One Direction who didn't even win. A lot of the times, the people who are more successful than people who don't win. So, um, but yeah, so it does breed talent. It, it, it's, I think it's a great platform for people to to uh, showcase themselves and their voices and and be themselves and be, you know and, and be themselves as well so yeah it's a fantastic opportunity for all when you first started off did you thought about going to a singing competition because there, there were singing competitions back then like pop idol or something stuff like that no no we, we started right at the very beginning just before um the, the tv shows come out actually i remember there was the very first show was uh pop stars pop stars which was a band called hearsay and we were we just were in the studio recording our first album and hearsay had just won the show or well, they hadn't been announced that they'd won and that they were in the same studio as us uh, recording their songs so uh, it was right at the very very beginning of this whole reality TV stuff that, that we were out so you're releasing a new album next year it's called roulette how was it like working for it it's been almost 10 years since you've released a new album with new, all new material. It was in really great. It was it was amazing. Um, you know, it, it's been a, a learning curve for us because you said it, we definitely did this album in a different way that we've never done before, having our own record label. Um, and I think that's because the industry's changed so much. And um, we called this album Roulette because I think that it depicts the journey that we've been on um, in the last two years making this album. And we've, you know, we've had to take a few risks and, you know, stuck at the table, as they say, and um, or the, for the analogy of the album, and and just kind of when the chips were down, kind of just stuck at it and and kept placing bets. Do you have more control over your sound and your music right now than you did before, having your own label? Uh, 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 yeah, I think. I think so. I think I think you having your own label, you, you're able to choose who you want to work with. But um, right from the beginning, we we've, we've had the opportunity to write. I mean, we, we wrote All Rise, our first ever single. And, you know, you fly by as you want loves. All the, the anthemic tracks, we, we had an involvement in. So we've been pretty lucky. On for, you know, where we've seen other groups that have been told what to do. And, but we've always been really independent when it comes to the music because we want to believe in it. We want to we want the fans to believe it. And that's the most important thing for us. Some of your biggest hits were produced with Stargate since the very beginning. And um, did you work with him right now for this record? A duo, actually. There's not just one guy. There's a, there's a couple. Of the, the team. There used to be yeah. three of them. They, um, no, we, um, I think next album we'd like to go back to Stargate. I mean, they created a lot of our hits for us. Um, thanks to Stargate, um, you know, we had we had some of our biggest hits of our career. Um, this this album we we went to the Red One camp, um, but I think we've, we've all talked. You know, we we do miss that Stargate sound. Uh, they created very much the blue sound for us, and I think that uh, next album would, would very much love to, to to work back with them again. Um, but equally, working with Red One has given us a, an amazing sound for this album. Definitely, um, there's, there's it's very it's, they've it's created different. A different sound. It's a different sound, um, but I think that 
equally again the, 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 the style of songwriting hasn't really changed because no. we still have classic kind of blue songs and great melodies and great melodies great lyrical content great and I think we've grown as a group in our lyrics and, and in our vocal range and technique as well um, and I, I'm, I think that there's a lot we, we're a lot older now and um, we're starting to you know lose a little bit older I think we're we're very fortunate in our career to work with people like Rev One and, and Stargate, um, and you know these are the, the, the biggest producers in the world, and we're very lucky to have had the opportunity to work with them all. So uh, we just hope that you guys like our new album with our new sound. And, um, we're, you know we're excited to come back out here to Romania again to perform do a concert. You say that it is the most mature album that you did you did so far. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I mean, as the boy said, you know, <clears throat> our voices have matured, our sounds matured, and, and you know, the sound in, in the in the business at the moment is, is also maturing as well. You know, for us, it's all about songs that are going to live on for five, ten, fifteen years. You know, like now, our songs are still played on the radio. You know, if you come back um, too close or rise. So for us, it's all about the longevity of the music. And I think if, if we're moving with the times and it's working, then you know, we'll, we'll be happy with that. I know that you've worked with uh, Neo and Bruno Mars, and they're kind of no. no? We, that, what happened with that? We've been explaining that before. But we, uh, we, we've all like me and Simon work with Neo um, individually. Um, I worked with Bruno Mars um, before we started working on the Blue album, and there was a couple of songs that I thought might work for Blue when I worked with Bruno. But unfortunately, on this album, they just didn't have a place. But you know, you never know in the future we might use them more. Hopefully get back in the studio with Neo. We've spoken to Neo, um, and Neo said he'd be up for writing for us on the on the next album. Um, it's just it's a shame that we didn't get a chance to take any of his songs or get in the studio with Neo or Bruno on this album. But in the future, you know, we we know the guys, and hopefully that will come up maybe on the next album or album after that. You never know. Was your comeback influenced by the fact that boy bands are ruling the world again? No, I think it was just coincidence. Um... I think that when when we stopped Blue uh, six years ago, the music industry was going through a, a very different stage of music. There was no more kind of boy bands anymore. Boy bands, girl bands were a thing of the past. People didn't want that kind of music anymore. But like everything in life, everything revolves, everything comes back around. And we just so happened to be releasing this album in a time where boy bands are really current again. They're really popular. Uh, programs like X Factor have made the boy band revolution pivotal again and, and, and One Direction uh, they're just they're just uh, you know uh, the, the biggest band in the world right now um, so I guess they're making boy bands cool and, and they're now very young you know and we're a lot older so uh, we don't call ourselves a boy band anymore we're too old for that <laughs> How do you keep in touch with your fans online? Do you go Facebook. on Facebook and Twitter? Twitter? Yeah official 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 blue on Facebook sign up put your lights Say what you like, say what you don't like, help us, help you be much happier. And Twitter? Yes, uh, Official Blue on Twitter. So follow us, Facebook Official Blue, Twitter Official Blue. And uh, we're on there quite a lot, so we, we really like to interact with our fans. So let people know what we're doing. Log on, join us, follow us, like us, and you know, you will very interact with you guys. So that's what it's all about these day and age. When we came out last time, there was really none of this social media. So this is all like new to us. It's a sign that we are actually old. old. <laughs> <laughs>